Hello and welcome to my channel, Boo Snakes and More. Let's get back to the story I'm reading and writing. Title, The Divine Chronicles, The Cosmic Convergence, Hell's Awakening, In the Midst of the Bustling and Energetic Gotham City, the characters from The Divine Chronicles found themselves facing a new and unexpected chapter in their cosmic journey. Tweedledee's whimsical decision to transport them to his iconic metropolis had set the stage for a unique exploration of their beliefs and values. Lucifer Morningstar, the angel on a path to redemption, couldn't help but be intrigued by Gotham's complex moral landscape. Here, the line between good and evil was often blurred, and he saw an opportunity to further his own quest for self-discovery amidst the city's shadows. God, the creator of all, observed Gotham City's resilience with a sense of wonder. This place, known for its enduring spirit in the face of darkness, offered valuable insights into the human capacity for courage and determination. Dream of the Endless, Morphosis' Guardian of the Dreaming, found Gotham's dreamscape uniquely captivating. Dreams and nightmares intermingled here, reflecting the internal struggle between justice and chaos. He contemplated the role of dreams in shaping the destinies of heroes and villains alike. Sarah, Frodo, Macarena, Jesus Christ, the Prophet Muhammad, Hell, and the other characters navigated Gotham's complexities. This is weird as fuck. With a blend of curiosity and determination. Jesus Christ is in Gotham. Get that man out of there. He's gonna die. Masked vigilance. He, he's gonna get killed. And energetic oh, no. villains and he ordinary gonna get worse than just pinned to a goddamn cross. Striving for justice. He's gonna get burned. Will you let me finish this reading and then you and, can give your and, point of view? He's gonna get eaten by music truck style, man. Like I said, will you let me finish this point he's of story? Be a giant zombie, man. And then I point the camera to you and you can give your thoughts and opinions on it. Jesus Christ gonna die! Twitter D the mischievous crystal of the mischievous catalyst for their journey revealed in the chaos and intrigue of Gotham City. His playful nature found a fitting home amidst the city's colorful cast of characters. As they explored Gotham's dark alleys and towering skyscrapers, the characters found themselves drawn into the city's more dilemmas. They faced questions about the nature of heroism, the cost of vigilante justice and the enduring struggle between light and shadow. The divine chronicles continued in Gotham City, where the characters guided by their diverse perspectives and newfound challenges embarked on a unique and thrilling chapter of their journey. The Cosmic Saga promised revelations, transformations, and an enduring exploration of divinity, free will, and the enduring power of the human spirit in the face of darkness in this iconic city where heroes rose and villains fell. They would find answers that would shape their destinies and the destiny of all existence. Would you like to give your insight about that part of the story? Why Before Jesus, we end the video. Why Jesus Christ in Gotham? He's going to die. He's going to get worse than just pinned to a cross. No. He's going to get burned in acid. Meet Kettle Crocodile Man. He's going to eat him. Meet a zombie. He's going to break him in half. Meet a man who wants to break his back probably. He definitely, he made me, Joker and uh, fucking Harmony or some shit. He made me fucking some of the other crazy, he makes us hallucinating. Why the fuck is he in Gotham? Because Tweeter D decided that's where they were going. Thank you for watching this part of the but story. But why bring Jesus in the middle And peace out until the next one. Why bring them?
to 